Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a series that premieres every Saturday, 3pm UK time. I wanted it to be like, like a virtual cafe. There's a live chat, I'll be there. It's always full of the most wonderful people. So yeah, if you're feeling lonely, feeling low, or you just want to chat makeup, then Karma Chameleon is a good place to be. So I am going to crack on and remembering what I got out then. So the primer I'm using is from Revolution. It's the Revolution Glow Beam Dream Face and Body Illuminating Primer. I'm not quite sure why your body would need priming, but hey, who knows? Oh, I forgot it's this really, really shiny stuff. Um, how has your week been? I, <laughs> it always looks pink on my face. I've not, if I'm honest, I've not been doing too good. I did have to take uh, just a, a few days completely away from everything. Um, but I will be doing a separate video just talking about that. So I'm not going to go into too much not going to go into too much um but yeah i've not really been having the best time but yeah let me know how your week's been going because i would be so happy to hear some uh, that some of you at least have had a good week and what you've been up to yeah this is a bit like a global i don't know how much it shows up on camera but yeah i'm 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 glowy, very, very glowy. Uh, the foundation I'm going in with is the Huda Beauty, is it Faux Filter Luminous Matte? Um, Creme Brulee is the colour. Um, I've only used this a couple of times, I think. My memory, let's give this a quick shake. My memory is horrendous at the moment, absolutely horrendous. I forgot how thick this stuff is. Um, but yeah, I've, uh, so I've been busying myself this week. We're trying to busy my, my mind more than anything. I did a couple of bits of filming um, during the week. So I did a, a two-parter collab with Anki, who is my beautiful, wonderful friend, soul sister, over here on YouTube, and my friend in real life. I love her so much. Um, but yeah, I did um, a two-parter collab with Anki, which I, I really enjoyed. I was a bit concerned that you could tell, at, at least in the making of the palette video, that I was off. But I've been assured that it went all right. So <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Because the last thing I want is to, to let Anki down. I love her. Um, but yeah. So I've been trying to busy my mind. So I've actually become addicted to watching SWAT. I saw that it had Derek Morgan from Criminal Minds in. So I was like, okay, I'll give this a go. I wasn't expecting to like it at all. And I am hooked. I'm on season two already. Um, yeah, it's, it definitely has done me good to tr just try and keep my mind occupied. And... I've been listening to a lot of music as well because I find that music really helps kind of lift your mood. Obviously the right music. So yeah, I've been doing a lot of that. I also watched this amazing documentary um, on Richard Maudsley. Now he is actually classed as like the UK's most dangerous criminal or England's most dangerous criminal criminal he's been in prison well he's been in solitary confinement for 45 years um the documentary is amazing his nephew talks a lot in it and i just think he's a nephew his nephew's amazing and i just found it really intriguing the whole storyline storyline it makes it sound fiction but it's actually not it's real life um, but yeah, if you are into true crime, etc., search up Richard Maudsley documentary. 
it is worth a watch it's on youtube so yeah but that was uh kind of an eye eye opener i don't know if that's how you describe it um yeah if you don't watch it let me know what you think like in the comment section below here yeah so i'd be interested to hear what your views are i'm trying to think what else i did i even wrote wrote writ i even wrote a list of things and i'm looking it doesn't actually make any sense whatsoever <laughs> but so i uh so i was convinced that doing a video every day or uploading a video every day was going to kind of solve how i was feeling and it didn't <laughs> and i discovered i was majorly overdoing things so there will still be at least three videos a week but i won't be putting the pressure on myself to do it every day now i still think i prefer the original Huda Faux Filter foundation, but eh. so the concealer I'm going in with is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. I have it in the shade Almond. Oh, I forget this is a Joe Fit. Wow. So, are any of you like that? Like when you're feeling pretty crappy, you think that. Kind of making yourself do a lot will make it better or is that just me crazy i do really love this concealer it's such a good concealer really good Oh, what else is there to talk about? I do have... So, next week, or this week that will be coming, I will be opening up the giveaway for my channel's first birthday. And I am hoping... And I will more than likely be doing the... I'm trying to work out whether or not to announce the winner on the actual birthday, which is a Friday, or to do it at Calm Chameleon and see if I can work out how to do a live. Um, yeah, we'll see. We will see. But all the details um, will be coming up in the video next week. So... If you are wanting to enter that, you will probably want to be, well, you'll need to be subscribed because you have to be subscribed to be in it. Um, but if you haven't hit the notification bell already, um, that will notify you every time I upload. So you won't miss it. And trust me, the giveaway is going to be just epic. I'm so excited so excited uh, just do the eyes I got myself in quite a bit of a panic this week thinking that my dog Poppy was going a senile and luckily for me although I should have phoned her before googling um, I have a friend who is a dog behaviour specialist. So yeah. <sighs> so, Donut here googled and I, I got so scared. I, I was so worried. And yeah, when I phoned her, 
it turns out that the way my dog's behaving is because she's going blind. I say I knew that she was losing her eyesight anyway, but I didn't know how it can like make them behave. So yeah, that was interesting. And obviously with her going blind, it's a lot easier to deal with than if she were to be going senile. So that was a relief, definitely a relief. And, but in doing the, the like the Googling, right, before I go on, the powder I'm going in with is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter setting powder in the shade Butter. Desperately trying to read that then. Right, let's just make sure we're not creased. I find this concealer actually really good for under the eyes. I think my favourite still may be Madage Beauty and even the She Glam one because that is actually amazing. I did not expect to be liking that at all. Oh, I love the smell of this powder so much. But yeah, I was talking about Poppy, wasn't I? Ah, yes. In Googling about dogs going senile, obviously now I know she isn't, but I also learned a lot about how to like keep their, their brain going longer, things to do. And I've been making Poppy work for pretty much all her food and she's really loved it. So that was really good. The, the thought of not having Poppy is just oh, unbearable. I've had her since she was 13 weeks old. And she was like an angel when she was asleep and the Tasmanian devil when she woke up. She was an absolute nutcase. The best puppy ever, obviously. Um... I spoil her rotten. She was my baby. Well, she still is my baby. I shouldn't say was. She still is my baby. Um, but yeah, she's now 11. And, and a little old lady, which is, again, sad. I don't like it. So for my brows, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. liner and brow gel in the shade Espresso. I love this so much. Again, I've done my base first, but it's okay because we're actually going fairly, fairly kind of neutrally today-ish. For me anyway. Because I have a new to me palette. It's not a new palette. It's not old either. Uh, it's still fairly new. Oh, and if you've noticed, which you probably have, my eyebrow hairs are still falling out. So, I uh, yeah, I don't really have much eyebrow left. Or much eyebrow hairs left. So, we are literally... We are literally drawing the whole lot on now, I think. Just gonna get the general line today. That's all I really feel like doing. <laughs> oh, I. I'm just. I, I don't even know. I. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm just. Not quite me at the moment. I 
I don't want to kind of say too much because I will be saying well everything everything in the video My eyebrows take a while, so I'll probably just put music along to the rest of this and just get them done. So, brows done. The eyeshadow primer I'm going in with today is one that I always forget I've got. I've only used it once, so I still haven't made up my mind what I really think of it. Um, but it's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the original one. And yeah, it was actually... Well, I'll, I'll start popping it on anyway first, <laughs> before I start nattering. And oh, I forget it comes up with that as well. It was actually, I was on video call to Erica and uh, yeah, she was asking if I tried it and I was like, oh, I've got that. And yeah, I don't, I don't really know how I feel about it. So I figured I'd dig it out and give it another go. So... Yeah, I think it's just something I forget I've got because I kind of have my favourites and tend to stick with them and I think also I tend to like um, more coverage on my lid but eh, we'll see we'll see how it goes I might discover today that I love it and I've been missing out so I've heard so many people say how amazing it is. I've also heard like heard it from the other side that some people are like, mm, it's a bit meh. So let's give it a second chance. Everyone deserves a second chance. Well, almost everyone. So the eyeshadow palette I am using today. I'm so excited to have this. It's new to me. It's the Sigma Untamed. Oh my god, this packaging. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And you open it up and the the slip. This is the slip that protects the shadows. And then this is the beauty herself. Absolutely gorgeous. So I thought I would just go with can I use that mirror? Mm. Yeah, 
we'll see. It comes with the brush, which I'm going to give a go. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with Boho first and put that through my crease. And I'm just using the brush that came with it. So, ah, so we've got a diffused crease, that side, and then a medium sweeper, that side. Okay. A medium sweeper. Yeah, this prime is a little bit on the sticky rather than tacky side, I think. Yeah, I really don't like this eye primer. Well, not with this, at least. Definitely not with this eyeshadow. So let's give that brush a quick clean as well. I'm just giving the brush a quick clean with ISO Clean. It's the brush cleaner. You just spray it on and then wiggle it around on. I use a, a flannel or a towel. At the moment I'm using my, my pajama bottoms. So yes. All right, let's grab, let's go P. Louise for today. Let's put you away. All right, change of plan. We're going in with P. Louise Base Pro in the shade Rumor 02. This is amazing, I love it. Yeah, fingers crossed this will go better. Brush. Plus this is gonna cover up all the redness, which is good. Oh my word. Yeah, still not sure on that eye primer. Maybe you just got to use the right eyeshadows with that. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's some formulas work with it and some don't. It's still a bit sticky, but hopefully this will fix things. I'm just going to grab my powder brush and I'm just going to dab over. I haven't picked up any more powder. Hmm. Okay, right. Let's start again. So I think first I'm actually going to go in with Docile. I never use these kind of shades at all, but I really feel like I need to set my primer. So I'm just going to go over everywhere the primer is. Because, yeah, I don't think I took it off that well. And then pop the P. Louise over the top. Yeah, it was me actually using one of these kind of setting shadows, what do you call them? OK, 
Okay, right. Let's try again. So I am going into Boho with the diffused crease side of my Sigma brush. And I'm just going to take that just loosely. Through the crease. Now we're going to be going relatively neutral, or well, very neutral for me, I think. Is it? Yeah. Well, the crease is at least. I do like these colours, like this of colour and I love I as soon as I saw this palette I fell in love with it there's just something about this colour story that yeah it draws me in the shadow and it probably would pack on beautifully but that's not the look I'm going for today oddly enough yeah so you know, doing my makeup I find extremely therapeutic and it really helps me and I love the, the colour. I think I'd gotten myself kind of to a point where I was putting so much pressure on myself just to pump out all these videos and to get through all of the products I have and haven't tried yet that I kind of lost sight of why I love doing my makeup and what I do it for. Because yes, I would love for my channel to grow. I really would but I started my channel in at a time when I was in a really really bad place and it pretty much saved me I say pretty much it probably did save me because I I was in a really dark place and I use colourful makeup just to pick me up and I'd gotten to the point where I wasn't actually thinking about like colours I wanted to use as such. I was just like, right, I've got to get one done on this palette and one done on this palette and I want to get this video done and that video done and I don't know. I think I just need to stop with the pressure. And just film what I want to film with. Obviously I, I love filming with kind of newer palettes etc. But I also, I like filming with older ones because not everybody is getting new palettes all the time. You've got a lot of people that are just happy with the palettes they've got. And just want to see them used more. Now this is actually going really, really well. Oh, I'm surprised. I surprised myself actually that that I like this palette so much, and like now I'm using it. This colour is just just dirty and beautiful.
I think this might even be a palette that my sister would use. That's how neutral it is. My sister likes browns mostly. She's dabbling with a bit of colour. I even think she would like this one. A palette that we would both like. Strange. Okay. So now I have that down. I'm just going to take you fluffy enough. I'm done with you. You're too fluffy. So I am now going to go with camouflage. No, I haven't even swatched this palette. It's literally just been looked at. So let's. Oh, right. Okay, I'm in love. that is super pigmented i was i was not prepared for that at all wow Okay, pigmented, blends out nicely, nice. I'm going to go back over with a bit of the boho over the edge because I, again, I don't want to, I want this to be a nice soft look. I think actually I'm probably better going off with another, going in with another brush. I'm not hating this. Let's get a little fan brush quick. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm just going to take just a little brush and dip back into camouflage a tiny bit. And I just want to just pop a little bit on the lower lash line. That will do. I'm really enjoying these shadows. Really enjoying them. And getting this at such a a low price was just just too good to pass up. Wow. I'm loving this. Okay, so do we try shimmers without primer? And what shimmer do I want? I'm do you know what? I'm just gonna go with the green so I'm going to go with Envy the green shimmer I'm going to first try using their medium sweeper brush let's see how it picks up and how it applies yeah there is not bad, not bad. I don't know if this is the right brush to be doing it with. Let me try with a different brush. Let's try with you. Ah, here we go. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm enjoying this. I am enjoying this. So I do have some some exciting videos coming up. Well, I think they're exciting anyway. We'll wait and see what you think once they're up. Uh, I'm hoping you like them. I will at some point just have a go with this, like, I don't know, go for a more, more Steph look, but I don't know. I just really fancied this today and sure I'm not sorry. Looks pretty good for a neutral look. Yeah, definitely not my usual. I'm gonna have to go back in with a bit more of uh, camouflage. It wasn't that balanced. Okay, and then what am I looking for? What am I doing? Playing with ah. And then dipping back into camouflage just to go back on the outer edge there just to make sure that depth doesn't get lost. These greens are just beautiful. Like olivey and swampy all at the same time. And just going back in with a bit of envy, the green shimmer. They've almost got like a putty like feeling to them, these shimmers. Yeah, they're like like a cream to powder. Whoa. 
that's a really odd a really odd kind of formula look at that i had to give everything a swatch just to see what what it swatched like because yeah that's yeah how bizarre how bizarre right so i'm gonna get another smaller brush I'm trying to work out what i want to put on the inner corner i'm well i think kind of the obvious one to go with is spirit which is this one here so let's give her a go are you the same yeah i think they're all this kind of cream to powder formula which does however mean that i don't need to pop a glitter primer down which is good but it's not a formula i'm used to working with so i think this is gonna be a learning curve for me this palette but yeah look at that really nice i mean they're not like majorly metallic although no, I don't mind that. Well, yeah, this was definitely not a formula I was prepared for. It does make it slightly, I'd say more difficult. It, I'm saying more difficult because I've not worked with this kind of formula before. But I like that. So let's take a little brush and go back into Spirit. Same shimmer. I'm just going to just rub a bit of that right under the brow there. I'm really liking this. See, Steph can do neutral and like it. Oh, okay. Okay. I think that is the eye look done. Well, that was quick and easy. And this palette is absolutely gorgeous. Just, it's these shades this end that have really caught my eye. Oh, well, also, there's also a black in here. You've got the black too, so... I'm really excited to do more with that. So for bronzer, I'm going in with the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade June. This looks really nice. I do apologize if I'm not quite as chatty as usual. I don't think I'm gonna bother with the uh, blush actually either. Um, As I said, I will be filming a video explaining it all. I love this bronzer. It is so nice. Wow, no contouring, no bright colours, no lashes, who am I? Neutral, neutral makeup. Now drizzle. And for blush, the blush I'm going in with Juicy Lucy from Pout and Shout. I love this blush so much. I know I decided not to, but I kind of forgot that and picked it up and do, used it anyway. But yeah, I think this one really goes. Yeah, that goes. 
Right, for highlighter, I am going in with the Juvia's Place, the Nubian by Juvia's Loose Highlighter in the shade Nefertiti. I love this. And spoiler alert, there's one of these in the giveaway. I say the giveaway, there's more than one group of things to win, so it gives more than one person the chance to have some bits, which is kind of what I wanted to do, rather than just have a one winner. This highlighter is absolutely beautiful. I love this. And this is actually the Juvia's Place highlighter brush. That is pretty. It's really pretty. I'll get the lid back on this now. My hands are shaking. Oh, joys of anxiety. Don't you just love it? <laughs> uh, just go over quickly with the blusher brush. Hmm. Okay. So now on to lashes. I'm going in with my She Glam lash curlers. I love these. I'm always telling everyone how much I love these. They are the best eyelash curlers I have ever, ever used. And they're like super, super cheap as well. Just really look at what I'm doing when I'm curling my lashes, but hey ho. And then in with the Madeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. If you are not new here, you're probably bored of me saying it because it's the same one every time. I promise I will get another mascara to review at some point. I did have one. Um, I had the Be Perfect Is it Bad Llama Mascara. Um, but due to Be Perfect um, deciding to support Jeffree Star, I decided that I wasn't comfortable supporting them anymore. If you do, that's you know, completely your choice. Everybody's entitled to their own opinions on this. I know it's going to be a really, a really controversial one, but I'm... I'm not happy about it and I'm not happy promoting a brand that I don't feel has considered all of their customers and have put money before morals. Anyways, so that is that. So yes, I don't have that to try anymore. I just... I gave them to my daughter, including the eye primers. And the Carnival palette is up for sale. So, that's that's it on that subject. I really don't want to talk about that. I don't I don't like drama. I don't like any of that. Um but yeah, 
I thought I'd better explain. Yeah, you won't be seeing any of that here. Right, so in my waterline, do I want... Do I want in my waterline? I think... No. Right, so I think I am going to go in with the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Teaspoon for my waterline. So I feel like I'm, I've forgotten something. I know what it is. It's the, the lashes. But yeah, it feels really odd. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna pop a bit of mascara on the lower lashes and then see if I can find me a lippy. So the lipstick I've decided to go in with is the Melt Cosmetics Matte Lipstick in the shade On The Go. I think this is just going to go, go perfectly. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think about it, either in the live chat if you are here for the live chat for the premiere, or if you're watching at a later date or time in the comment section below. I just felt like doing something relatively neutral. But yeah, let me know what you think. <laughs> um, so yes, if you are here for the premiere and are in the live chat. Thank you so much for for joining me today. I I know I will have had a great time chatting with you, so thank you. And if you're watching at a later time or a later date, thank you so much for watching. It means the world to me. So yeah, if you like this video, please do give it a like, thumbs up, it really helps me out. If you are new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. I usually do really colourful looks pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time. I am a huge supporter of indie brands and a huge supporter of cruelty-free brands. I only support cruelty-free brands. Um, so yes, if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all having a great day, a great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.